Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Anna and my channel name is Anna's Crafty and More. I'm from New South Wales and Australia and I'd like to crochet, knit, do some other crafts like sewing, uh, dab in a little bit of painting. I've painted like three times. <laughs> And I uh, just like to share some of my uh, finished objects with you today. Firstly, it's the one that I'm wearing, and it's a poncho that I made um, probably before Christmas now. Um, but Christmas here in Australia is quite warm, so I haven't had a chance to wear it. And today it's a fairly overcast and windy day, so it's uh, quite fresh as we're um, in, in autumn now or fall as you say it in the US. So I'll show you this uh, uh, crocheted poncho that I've made. It's a, a rectangle piece that is basically wrapped, oh sorry about that, wrap, rectangle piece that it's wrapped around and you can see there's a join here and there's another join here. So there's this is one long re rectangle piece and then the other piece goes around the right round the back and joins there and then I've just added a little bit extra for the neck now with this poncho it comes down to a triangle shape at the front and it sits straight across at the back so I've made this with a uh, worsted type acrylic yarn it came in its own little uh, pouch I don't have the the label with me but it came in its own little pouch and it's uh, it's called carry cakes so it's not a, a well-known brand or anything like that um, but it is fairly soft um, I haven't uh, blocked it as yet which sometimes I don't block any of my projects one until I've at least worn them a couple of times and then you know my usual washing I'll hand wash them and block them then uh, unless it's something that really needs to be opened up, like some lace work or something like that. But all I did here was, um, with the two panels, just decided on how wide I wanted the panel. And then I started with a uh, foundation uh, crochet stitch as opposed to a, a single chain uh, stitch and then, you know, work into the chain stitch. I found that uh, working a foundation crochet, crocheted uh, chain gives it a little bit more stretch and it doesn't pull in tight. Sometimes uh, when you start off it can look pulled in and then when you work your stitches out it just doesn't look appealing to me. So what I did here, if you can see, the foundation chain stitch here and then I did um, double crochet or treble crochet depending on what you used to calling some V stitches you can see there there's V stitches V stitches then on top of the V stitches I did uh, just a double crochet some chains double crochet another row of V stitches and then a row of all double crochet and I continued on with that four row repeat um, one two three four yeah four row repeat over and over again so that's that's the poncho that I made uh, next, I've uh, been doing some uh, beanies, and um, this one you can recognise at the moment. It's, uh, it's probably blowing out a bit. At the moment, it's uh, inside out, and it is my all-time favourite uh, crocheted beanie design, which is the Divine Beanie. I really love this uh, style of beanie. It's it's beautiful. You can't tell. Where there's a join so there's no obvious um, join anywhere you just work in the round it gives a lovely finish probably blowing out a bit there it does give it a lovely finish this way and uh, then i just did the front post for the ribbing around the the brim here the yarn that i used here was patterns it's an acrylic yarn and it's actually a four ply um, now in Australia we pretty much have like four ply, this is commercial yarns, uh, four ply or eight ply yarn. So four ply would be the equivalent to probably a lightweight three, maybe a two. 
uh, and then four ply yarn would be equivalent to your worsted weight yarn uh, so it would be more like a four thicker yarn slightly thicker so what I did here is because this is a four ply yarn and it's a baby yarn it's, it was quite thin so I just held it with two strands to give give it a bit more uh, bulk to it and it is very very soft it's very very soft it's lovely the next thing that I'd like to show you is a shawl that I made it was one of the first shawls that I ever made and it is the virus stitch shawl and this is one that I had hanging behind me um, probably one or two uh, videos ago and I'd said that I'd take it down and I would show you now you can see that there's a nice little bit of uh, glitter in this yarn it is very very soft very drapey and goes all the way down and with this one here I used um, I think it was two and a half balls of the uh, very light peachy salmony color here and two two and a half or possibly three balls of this um, sort of fawn color that's what you call it like a taupey grayish color it's beautiful it's very soft this yarn is again it's an acrylic yarn um, I held it um, singly though I didn't hold it double because otherwise I didn't want it to be too thick I uh, wanted it to be a very soft light and drapey fabric as you can see and uh, the yarn is from Spotlight it's called Moda Vera Starlight yarn and it's uh, available probably still is available from our Spotlight stores which again it's a, a store where you can buy all uh, yarn and haberdashery uh, sheets towels or all that kind of thing now the next um the next item i wanted to show you is the shawl that i was wearing again in a couple of uh, podcasts ago a couple of episodes ago and this this shawl here is a knitted shawl it's showing you the right way it's a knitted shawl and this is all in cotton I wanted something that was again light and drapey but something that was uh, very easy to wear you can wear this in winter you can wear it in summer now our winters here especially where we live here are not that extreme it does get cold but it doesn't snow or anything like that and I think last year we only had uh, only had maybe one day of frost maybe two so it's quite moderate uh, the temperature but this here was using the cotton Karen cotton cakes and um, I don't I don't mind actually I don't know if you can see that there where it has different colors sort of speckled in the um, the actual yarn you can just barely see it here looks like there's a bit of a tinge of pink there and there's a bit of the pink and the purples there as well and this this knitted shawl originally the pattern came from oh I have to look up the name I'll put it in the description box below but the the pattern was um, available on uh, Ravelry if, if you're a Ravelry rem member you'll be able to find it there um, but again, because I like tweaking things and I don't always stick to the same rule, the same pattern flow, um, I just sort of changed up where the lace sections went and the amount of um, stockinette stitch and garter stitch. If you're a knitter, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a solly or crochet, I might be talking gib gibberish, but I apologise for that. And again, I like the um, Pico Edge, so I did put a little bit of a Pico Edge on the bottom I was playing yarn chicken so started off as you can see here with multiple picos then I realized I wasn't gonna have enough yarn so I had to lessen them but that's okay I don't mind I had enough to do it like this and of course there's a little end that's sticking out but that's okay I can fix that up so that's all I have for you today please like and subscribe and share and also um, if you're welcome to add a comment if you like it's always open 
Thank you again. Take care. Bye-bye. Again, if you like the content of my videos, so and also hit the thumbs up, the like button, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.